Hi there. All right, so welcome to this video, uh, the second video in the series. So at this point, we're going to actually create our Xcode project, which is going to um, house our application. So if I open Xcode here and I click on File, New Project, and then I'm just going to choose a single view application for now. Um, so I'm going to call that iShots, iShots app. All right, I'm going to leave the language as uh, Swift, and then we go next. Then I'll put on the desktop. So now we're good to go. So we have the shell of our app, right? So the first step, as we said, is we want to connect to the Dribble API. So if you go, if you browse through the API here at the bottom, and you read the docs, what we want to pull out is the list of the um, most popular shots on Dribble right now. So we have here an, a URL So we have here a URL which you can use to connect to the Dribble API for example. So here it says HTTPS api.dribble.com slash version 1 and then we have this different endpoints. So if we wanted to pull out the shots endpoint, which is the list of most popular shots, we can copy that and then do, so we can use that URL and then we have slash shots. And then what this is gonna give us is, it's gonna give us a list of the, the a JSON file, which we can see here. It's gonna have the ID of a shot, the title, description, some images, how many times it's been liked, viewed and commented on, right? And then, um, some more information which we're probably gonna not going to use. Okay, so let's go back to Xcode and actually start creating the, the methods that will pull information from this API. Okay, so now that we've created our Xcode project, now we want to create the file that will connect to the API. So I'm going to go here and click on File, New Project. Sorry. File, New File, and then create Choose the Swift file. So I'm going to choose the iOS source and then Swift file. And I'm going to call that Dribble API. So I'll put in a new folder called Dribble API and I'll click on create. All right, so that's there. Let's put in a new group so that it's um, all clean and working well. All right, so now we can start creating our API. So I'm gonna open a new class here and call it Dribble API. And I've got some code prepared. So we, I'm gonna show you how we can build the, the class so that it pulls information from the API. All right, so let me walk you through this. This is what we got from Dribble. Um, we have our access token, which I've, I've pasted there. That's directly from the Dribble website. And then there's a new method here called load shots, right? And that takes um, a completion handler, which is gonna be a function pointer of any object, which is gonna return any object. I'll show you how that works right now later. And then the first step is now um, to create a URL string using that access token. So we're going to connect to the API, the dribble.com slash version one. And then we need to put slash shots to tell dribble that we need the endpoint, the shots endpoint. And then we're going to add append an access token at the end of that URL. All right. Okay. So then after that, we're going to now create an NS URL session, which is the recommended way of connecting to an endpoint. And then we'll create a URL using that string. Okay, so after we do that, then we'll now create a new data task with this, with this session. And then we'll put our URL in there. Okay, and then in the return, so when this runs, we're gonna call task.resume at the end. And then this now kicks off, goes to the Dribble API, tries to get some data, and then 
in this response method, we're going to either handle the error message, which is in, the, in our case just going to print a line, or we're going to actually do something with the data. Okay, so now let's put a breakpoint in here so that we can easily see how that works. So if we run this, we can see if that works. So before we can actually go ahead and do this, we're going to have to... All right, so let's go to the view controller, which is here, and then we're going to actually call the method. All right, so you can see I've added these two lines here in the view did load. So what we have here is uh, we're going to create a new version of that Dribbble API, and then we're going to call the load shots method with a new completion handler for now. Um, so now let's run this in the simulator and see what happens. So we have a breakpoint in there, so we're going to try and run this. All right, so we can see that we have some information here in the data variable. So we could print that and then we won't see much, but then the next step is to actually pass the information. So we are, so this is good. So our first step is connecting to the API. We were successful, we were successful in doing that. And now the next step is to actually pass the information that comes back from the API. And then we can now use that in our application. So that's a simple way of using NSURL session to connect to an endpoint. All right, so in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can actually start passing this information that we return from the API. All right, thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.